Hello guys, my name is Vikram Tucker. Today I am going to show you how to connect to the Salesforce CRM and to retrieve their data and load the data to Salesforce. So first of all, uh, while we need to interact to Salesforce, we need to create a metadata for the connection between Salesforce and Talent. And for connecting to Salesforce, we need to have an account on the Salesforce. So first step is to create an account on the Salesforce. For that we need to open developer.salesforce.com Remember one thing, you have to create an account as a developer uh, because uh, if you have an account as a developer you will have an access to their APIs and if you have an uh, enterprise or a professional uh, account you may not be able to access the APIs and may not be able to connect to Salesforce. So first step is to join the Salesforce. I already have an account to Salesforce. I click on login. So uh, I can log in with my login details. Salesforce allow you to create a 30 days account. So you can use it for 30 days. Now I am able to log in. So let's try to use the same credential make a connection with talent go to salesforce and metadata in the repository pane right click create salesforce connection now give any name salesforce underscore connection click next now provide the username that you have used to log into salesforce and the password click on check login I have received this message connection failure invalid username and password so what actually happens is for any third-party vendor software to connect to Salesforce it requires a security token as well you cannot use your username and password itself to log in through talent to Salesforce so what you will have to do is you have to log in to Salesforce go to setup my personal information reset my security token and click on reset security token so now I have this I will receive my security token in the email so this is my security token that I have received so what you have to do is you have to copy the security token go to talent instead of only password you have to append this security token with your password here first your password will come and then you have to provide the security token. Now the connection has been successful. Now click on finish. Now we have created a connection to Salesforce. Let's start uh, to retrieve the data from Salesforce. Create a new job. Once you log into Salesforce, you will see that there are a couple of modules like leads, accounts, contacts. Let's go to account module. that you have around 14 contacts 14 accounts so what we'll do is we'll probably try to retrieve these accounts through our talent job so what we'll do is first of all we'll have to retrieve the schema of the accounts module go to connection right click retrieve Salesforce modules now click on account module so there are other modules as well in the Salesforce you can select as many accounts that you want that you want to retrieve from Salesforce. So it says there are 43 number of columns and the account uh, schema has been retrieved. So you can select any module like contacts, products, leads. So click on. So as of now we have selected account module. Click on account finish. You drag it to the job designer pane. Select as an input because we want to retrieve the data. Salesforce input basically from the palette pane it has used t salesforce input com component this one now uh, we want to retrieve and show it into a uh, run console what we'll do is first of all you can also save it in a file at right click row main and t log row 
or probably what we want to display a fewer details we'll have t map Now we have all the details here. Probably we not do not want all the details right now. Click on all, delete all. We'll only take account ID, account name, and account postal code and let's say account number okay we want only four details as of now click on apply yes okay yes go to tlog room display the table now try to run this job and see the output yeah you can see that we have retrieved all the 14 records from the salesforce so you can cross check with Salesforce web page. The first record is Vikram Tucker. This one. It doesn't have any account number. So all the details has been fetched here. So this is how we retrieve the data from Salesforce. Now we can also upload the data to Salesforce for any file. So the only difference is drag the same module from Salesforce to J Job Designer. Instead of selecting the input, select as output and click OK. Now you can you can use this output to connect to any flow. So this data will be automatically loaded. I hope uh, this tutorial has made you clear how to first get an account in Salesforce. Secondly, how to uh, create a schema for Salesforce, and, and then finally how to re retrieve the data from that. Salesforce modules. Thank you.